Welcome to Edinburgh Watch Company. My name is Jonathan and a very warm welcome to another one of our new arrivals collection videos. Today we have got 11 watches to let you have a very quick glimpse at. There will be full videos on all of these watches on our website. So please go and take a look at edinburghwatchcompany.co.uk. So today's date is the 13th of May 2021. I hope this finds you really well out there um, and very exciting times now as we progress through this pandemic into more time with family and friends and getting out and about and doing all the things we've been looking forward to for a long time. Um, I have a new arrival here as well and it's not a watch, it's a four-legged friend and I'm really excited to have just picked up a Cocker Spaniel puppy. We've called him Lester, he's a red cocker, and he's just over eight weeks old and absolutely great fun. So if you see any dog hairs appearing on my jumper here, you know where they've come from. But yeah, I'm sure you dog owners out there will have lots of fun with your dogs and any top tips are certainly welcome. So before we start looking at our latest collection, a quick wristwatch check. Today I am wearing the classic Rolex GMT Master Pepsi. This is the most beautiful watch that uh, came in from an existing customer. What's so special about this one? This is the uh, 16710. Um, it has the stick dial and the 3186 movement. So absolutely one for the collectors. Haven't got up on the website just yet. It's one I'm just sort of keeping and enjoying for a little bit. So let's go and have a look at the first watch and what better place to start than the classic Rolex Explorer 2. Now this is an absolutely pristine example. Bought it from a very, very good customer of Edinburgh Watch Company. This watch has, I think, been worn once in the house, so it's in pristine condition. Um, this is the 216570. It was bought new in 2019, comes complete with all the original box and papers and an absolutely perfect condition. Now this model has just been discontinued. The new model came out of course in April, but very, very little change. So Polar Dial, a really, really hot watch amongst the Explorer range. And as I say, on the Oyster bracelet, everybody knows about the Explorers, but that's just a really good one that's just come in. We've also got here the latest Submariner. So this is the one, uh, 126110LN. Um, so this model came out in September last year with the 41 mil case size. Of course, the new movement, slightly wider bracelet, classic Submariner. Big wait lists on these. So we're really, really lucky to get this watch into stock. Um, going back many years ago, it was the first Rolex I ever bought uh, when I was about 23 for a princely sum of 800 pounds. And boy, I wish I kept that watch. It has certainly shot up in value. But sub date, stainless steel, you can't beat it. An absolutely great watch to wear. And that one is a 2021 piece. Sticking with the, the sort of sport range here, we've got the GMT Master. Now this is the model that was introduced in 2007, so the first of the, the ceramics uh, that came out. This particular watch we bought from a great friend of Edinburgh Watch Company um, who bought it brand new in 2012. Um, it was worn very, very infrequently and in 2017 it was sent back to Rolex uh, where it had a full service and it hasn't been worn since. Again, all original box and papers, absolutely gorgeous condition, 40 millimeter case size, stainless steel, ceramic bezel, lovely green hand on it here and the polished and satinized bracelet. This one we've got at a really good price, we think at 10250 so a lot less than you pay for a, a Batman. And again, I'd encourage you to go and look at the market, look at prices out there, but that I think is a really, really good one. Now, if, if you prefer the sort of steel and gold look, then how about this one here? This is the new 126613LN, uh, the latest 41 mil Submariner date um, with a black dial here. Um, of course, you have a choice. You can buy it with the blue or the black. This one's a bit, I love the blue one, but I think the black one's a little bit quieter on the wrist uh, than the blue one, but gorgeous. Ceramic bezel here inlaid with 18 karat gold. Beautiful watch. Polished down the side there. Polished center links running down through the middle and just a really, really superb looking watch. This one lasts the rest of your life. Something to pass down to the the next generation. So that's a very, very quick look. That's a 2021 
unworn watch as well. So a nice quick look at the Rolex collection. Now let's start across here, top right hand corner, um, to show you this is an Audemars Piquet. Uh, it's the Royal Oak Offshore and it's the 26470 ST. Now we first bought this watch back in 2017 from a customer of ours uh, as an unworn watch and then uh, it had been enjoyed for the last few years by a customer and it's come back in again. Lovely, lovely watch. Um, you cannot quite get this watch anymore like this. The current version, while it looks the same, has a ceramic bezel on it. Now, they nicknamed this watch the Vampire. The reason being is it fitted to a leather strap uh, in black with red stitching on it. The strap that comes with it is a shorter strap on it, but the rubber strap you see fitted here today is the standard size one there. So a really lovely watch, 42 millimeter, stainless steel. It's got the black tapissery dial sub dials in the same color there but nice little red accents on it uh, the pushers here are in steel the older ones used to be in rubber which used to sort of perish a little bit i think it's a really nice size watch um, let's say 42 mil case size but wow look at the back of it here absolutely gorgeous to see that rotor uh, on my wrist to say with an eight inch wrist it absolutely works perfectly for me i think a lot of the ap's they are really quite big Hold that one up to camera briefly there. You can just see it's thick, but it's not too thick. Now this watch new today with a ceramic bezel is about 28,800. I've got this at a really good price. Please go and have a look at the website and you'll see there's a great saving to be made there on the, on the new model. Now from Audemars Piquet to one of the most famous brands in the world, IWC Schaufhausen, a watch best known probably today for its relationship with Formula One as um, Lewis Hamilton uh, proudly wears these watches. This one's one of the classics. This is the Portuguese seven days with the most gorgeous sort of uh, silvery white dial, seven day power as a 42 mil case size, blued steeled hands, it is just, elegance absolute elegance lovely size to wear uh, mounted onto a black alligator strap there you can see the iwc branding on the deployment clasp there this opens up there and you can see this beautiful movement underneath i love this watch i think it's just absolutely gorgeous we're going to be doing a full feature review on this watch too but just a lovely lovely watch really really nice now that watch today it's called the IW500705. Um, it's still a current model and it's available at 10,950 if you're gonna buy that watch from a dealer. I've got this watch, I think at around about 7,595. So a huge saving and a really good reason why to consider buying pre-owned because that's an absolutely gorgeous condition. We just had a very, very light polish to the class, checked it's waterproof and accuracy. It's ready to go to be enjoyed for many more years. And now we bring something for the Amiga fans. This is the Amiga Seamaster Collector's Edition. Now this is one of 10,007 watches that were made. I think this one was sold back in around about 2008. Uh, it's based on the classic 41 millimeter stainless steel Seamaster 300, a really great looking and very practical watch. A watch you'll see many people wearing, an alternative of course to the Rolex Submariner. Very, very subtle branding on this. You can see the 007 there on the, the tip of the second hand, Seamaster writing in red. Uh, it has the rotating bezel there, lovely stainless steel bracelet, that classic helium escape valve. And then on the rear of the case, you have got the, the 007 there and also here on the clasp as well. So it's really quite subtle, but a lovely watch. I think this would make a great gift for someone, maybe a, an 18th, 21st, perhaps an anniversary gift, something like that. But really, really nice watch for, you know, not a lot of money and, um, and as I say, limited uh, production. So from Amiga, we're going to jump across to Cartier. Uh, this Cartier has just come in. Now this watch here is the Cartier Roadster. It's the XL Chronograph. What's unusual about this watch is that this was received by as a gift for one of our customers and it had never been worn at all. And so it's in absolutely pristine condition. It was bought new back in 2006 and it has also a really clever um, bracelet system on it. So while you see it fitted here today on its metal bracelet, 
you can very quickly and very easily remove this bracelet and we have two brand new unworn leather strap to fit to the watch there um, giving you a very different look and feel on the wrist now as i said it is the xl as an extra large so it is quite a large watch i think size wise it's like 40 by 48 now my wrist size is an eight inch wrist so i'll show you on my wrist just to give you some sort of perspective but it's a lovely watch um, i love the designs that cartier make they really do they're quite unique and the roadster of course a very sporty watch with its chronograph function there you've got the date window and just an overall really nice looking watch quick look there wrist check there you can see the sort of thickness of it there it's quite a chunky watch but i think if you've got it fitted well to the wrist you'll be absolutely fine and again you might just prefer to you know wear it on the leather rather than the metal base but it's nice to have that that choice of two so sticking with the sort of the sport theme um we have just bought a zenith now all these watches here Every watch I buy for Edinburgh Watch Company, I'm making that decision. And it's based upon, is it a good watch, good provenance, good brand, reliable, strong, um, a great lifespan in the watch. But do I like the look of it? And do I think you will like the look of it as well? Um, this Zenith, when I saw and got offered this watch the other day, I thought, yeah, I'm having that one. This is the Zenith El Primero Stratos, and it's the flyback chronograph. So quite a large watch, around about a 45 millimeter case but just look at the colors on the dial there, the silver, the graphite, the blue subdials there for the chronograph. And this features the flyback mechanism. So you can see the second hand whizzing around the dial there, push one button, starts off again. No need to press start, stop, reset. Rotating bezel here on the top, metal bracelet. You've got the Zenith logo on the back there, double deployment class, very easy to take on and off. And just look there at that beautiful uh, clear glass back on it so you can just enjoy seeing that movement in action. Um, Size-wise, I think it's great. A really nice size watch. Uh, just a quick look on the wrist there. You can just see these colors. They work very, very well. This watch, I think we're going to price just under the £5,000 mark. So if you're wanting a nice sports watch from a, you know, a famous uh, Swiss brand of Zenith, then that's definitely, you know, one to consider. So just two more to go, and they are both, in fact, from uh, Officine Panerai. Now, this watch we have here is, is a cracking watch, actually. Um, and this is the first of the uh, Luminor Marina Daylights we've ever had. Um, very, very popular around about the you know, sort of 2000s, 2000, up to about 2010. Um, this, however, is a chronograph. It's very subtle. The button's almost built into the side of the the case there and a very unique design. So Panerai, of course, famous through their relationship with the, the Italian uh, Navy. Um, divers watches, this one, no exception. Subdials all in the same color there. Really strong loom on the hour hands and the dial, so perfect for nighttime reading. You've got the tachymeter engraved on the outside. This watch came from a great customer of ours. Um, he had a lovely collection of watches, wore the watch very infrequently. In fact, it's still sitting on its original alligator strap and it's also got a rubber strap as well. So if you want to take this watch in the water, you can fit it to that. You can see here, you've got the double deployment clasp and a really nice uh, case back on it too. Uh, I'll show you on the wrist, um, nice size, very, very easy to clip on and off. And of course, this, like all of the watches here, all complete with all the, the original box and papers. So again, cracking watch. Um, Price-wise, again, this watch is discontinued now. Um, I think we're going to be somewhere around about the £5,000 mark. So if you're looking for a really nice uh, Luminor Marina with the daylight one, then this one is definitely worth considering. I love it. I love this design at the side there as well. You just lift this lever out there, then you do all your adjustments, and it pushes back in and pushes the, the, the crown against the side of the case. So a really, really cool watch. And I actually photographed that watch earlier today. It was a lovely watch to, to photograph. So lastly, we end with um, another uh, Panerai. We've gone from the sporty Luminor Marina to the more dressy watch. This is the Panerai Pam 00753, and it's also known as the Panerai Base. So lovely slim watch, 45 mil case size, hand wound with three day power reserve lovely simple dial index markers there then the 369 polished case there lovely and slim 
and lovely crown there with a Panerai logo. You can see the, the case back there and this gorgeous leather strap with the white stitching going through it. Um, I remember wearing this a few weekends ago when it came in. I don't know, it really feels like the start of the weekend when you wear something like this. It's really, really nice. Just a really nice sort of casual watch to wear. You know, wind it up for the weekend, enjoy it for the weekend, then put it back in the box and wear something else. So there we are, that is our Panerai. Now these cloths you see here, these are our Edinburgh Watch Company cloths. Start that again. So these cloths that you actually see here, they are our Edinburgh Watch Company cloths. I'll just hold that up there. And we actually give one of these cloths out with all of our watches, um, just something we've had made, something for our customers to enjoy, to keep their, their watches absolutely beautiful. I'd like to give a few of these um, cloths away to some of you guys who are kindly supporting the channel. So why don't you just let me see some of your thoughts and views on this collection on the video and um, I'll go and handpick maybe five of you and we'll send you one of these cloths out there. Um, there we are. That's the end of today's short video. A really, really quick one. You know, we are normally natter on far too long, but I think hopefully you'll agree, a lovely collection. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch today. And remember, if you want to see more of our full, full fat reviews or the latest collection, then all you have to do is subscribe, give us a thumbs up, give us a few comments. Have a great week. See you next time. Bye-bye.